Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects, a Make Magazine video podcast. I'm Bree Pettis, and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. This weekend, I'm off up to Boston to go see Steve Garfield, who's going to help me teach you how to make two kinds of bird feeders, and then we're going to make a webcam that will go on one of these, so you'll be able to monitor all the birds that come to your house. Okay, next stop, Steve Garfield's workshop. We're going to start with the bottle, and I'm going to use this kind of bottle, and you can start with any kind of bottle. We found this out in the street in the recycle bin. There weren't many choices of bottles, but this is a good one. We're going to cut holes in it, and we're going to put some holes here and here for dowels so the birds can sit on the little, uh, little place for them to sit. And then we're going to make another hole where the grain can come out and they can feed. And then, after we do that, we're going to make a hook on top so we can hang it. So, let's go drill some holes. little bird can sit here and it can eat right out of that little hole. Perfect. Turns out the holes were a little too small for the birds to get at the feed. They were quarter inch holes. So we're going to do three eighth inch holes and that should make the feed easier for the birds to get at. Let's drill those holes. Now you have a three eighth inch hole and uh, that's going to be much better for the birds. Please hang up and try again. For this next one, we're going to go ahead and use some wood. This is 1 by 2 and 3 eighths inch dowels. And then I've got, for the little bowl that the birds are going to eat out of, I've got a caramel corn little container here that we're going to cut up with some scissors. I thought about using some PVC or ABS plastic for this, but, you know, we had this just knocking around here in the basement and uh, looks like it's going to work just fine. Okay, let's cut everything out. I'm making it so that it's uh I'm making a little mark here so that it's slanted so that I can have when I put a little roof on top of it, it'll be sideways so the water all go off on one side. Great. Not much need for glue here, it just pops right in and it's not going to try again. My original strategy was to put a little trough in there that I was going to make out of this container, but after some reflection, we decided that this would pretty much invite every squirrel for the nearest 20 miles to have a feast at our front door. So we've switched over to another strategy. This is hot chili pepper suet. And basically, this stuff is filled with chili peppers, which birds don't mind, but squirrels do. So hopefully we'll keep the squirrels away with this suet stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and nail a little suet cage in. Nailing didn't work so well, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over and use zip ties to keep this thing in. Okay, this is like the perfect Make Magazine video podcast, because it shows you sometimes that things don't work the first time, and you have to just keep finding ways to make it work. Okay, zip ties it is. Yeah, this, this worked good. Zip ties, it's like... You can use them for anything. The roof is on. I've gone ahead and I've uh, attached this with glue and I've made little eyelets here so that it can hang from there as well. And those are just tightened down so that it's on there nice and tight. And then we've got the little suet thing and then we've got some little uh, little bars here for the little birdies to sit on and, and eat the suet and uh, we're all set. This little section over here is a little odd. It's a little bit longer here you might notice because we're going to set up a webcam right over here. All right, we're all ready to put up our bird feeders. Steve's got his bird feeder right here. And then we've got this one with the webcam attached onto it, which looks really good. And we did have a problem this morning. We set it all up and we set up the webcam. And as you can tell, it's, it's sunny out here. And the webcam, when we put it up on the computer, just looked completely, completely white. Yeah, really bright. So I'm like, OK, Steve, we need an ND filter, which is a filter which cuts down all the light. And Steve's and I'm like, like Hey, just use these sunglasses. So we just took the sunglasses and they just hook right over the, uh, they just hook right over there like that, and we're all good to go. We've got a, uh, we've got a, whoop, we've got a filter that we can just tape on there, and it'll, uh, it cuts down on the light so we, you can actually see things on the webcam. 
Now let's show you how to set that thing up. We're going to need a webcam, and then we're going to need a computer to hook it up to, and then we're going to need some software to run the webcam and upload pictures to the internet. For the webcam, I've got a PC webcam, and I needed to get some open source software called MacCam to let that talk to the Mac. And then for the computer, we've got Steve's old PowerBook here, and that will run the software, which is, I, I chose EvoCam. There's a bunch of options, including some open source options, but EvoCam's got this cool feature where it's got like a, a motion sensor where if it sees motion, it'll take a picture. So that way, when there's a bird there and it moves, it'll take a picture, and um, that way it won't just be an updated picture every 30 seconds of nothing happening. So that's cool. So we're, let me just walk you through this software so you can see how it works, and you can do it yourself and set up your own cam. Okay, here's the EvoCam software, and we start, let's go ahead and start by configuring the server, and you go ahead and put your FTP server information, this is for your, for your hosting, and you put all this stuff in, and you configure it, and this is a little bit tricky, but they help you by having an example. Then for refresh, this, this, this gives you the choice of like how, when do you want to have your thing upload. And you can set it to do it every five minutes or when motion is detected. And I'm choosing to upload it to the server and save it in a folder for an archive. Later I want to send it as email to my Flickr account so it'll just keep an archive on Flickr. Then I've got, uh, this tells me this is my last image and whether w w all about it and whether it was sent up or if there's a problem. Here are my settings for motion sensing. I went ahead and I made a little motion sensor here. I'll make another one. Let me erase that. I, you go to new item and you go sensor and it makes this little blue box here and you set wherever you want their sensor to be. And then when motion is detected, a little orange pops up and when enough orange happens or if there's some sense motion, it'll actually take a picture and upload that to the internet. There's another little tab recording here for like recording movies. I haven't really messed around with that yet. All right, now we've got the webcam all set up, and it looks great. We've got it here on the Steve TV, which is his power book hooked up to his giant HD TV, so we can get a really nice picture. And uh, I think a bird's about to arrive outside. We've, we'll see. We'll see how this works. Okay, bird, are you there? Oh yeah, see. And we've got the motion sensor hooked up right here, so that when it sees motion, it takes a picture, and you can tell it's taking a picture right here because the little bars go up. Oh, this is very exciting. All right. Well. Thank you, Bird. I hope you got enough to eat. Bye-bye. All right, I'm Bree Pettis here at Steve Garfield's house, and you've watched another Weekend Projects. Go out there, make yourself a really great bird feeder, hook up a webcam, and send us the URL so we can go check out your birds in your neighborhood. Have a great weekend.